The government should have published the forecast from the Office of Budget Responsibility when they did the mini budget. I wrote to the Chancellor at the weekend and said that they should now publish this coming Friday when the Office of Budget Responsibility gives the government their forecast. The public should see it as well. And financial markets need to see it. The volatility that we've had in the last week and a half with a huge spike in borrowing costs for government and also for families through mortgage rates is causing huge anxiety. And government now need to get a grip, publish those forecasts. If they've got nothing to hide, what is stopping them? Yeah. Uh, uh, Liz Truss hasn't committed to a, a real terms increase uh, in benefits. What would Labour do? Well, I've been meeting with families in Peterborough today who are worried sick about the cost of living with the food shop, the energy bills, the mortgage rates all going up. And now the government not saying that for people with disabilities, for people on low incomes, that their, um, that their benefits are going to keep up with the rising cost of living. That is also causing huge anxiety. And so I'd urge the government to, to think again and to honour the commitments that they have made previously. So Labour would increase it by 9.9% in line with inflation? Well, we don't know what the inflation rate is, uh, is going to be. But yes, they should uprate benefits in April in line with the September rate of inflation. We're talking here about people with disabilities, people in low, in low incomes, uh, more than half of them in work, who are already struggling with the rising cost of living. Why should they be paying the price for the Tories' failure and the Tories' lack of grip on our economy? If you were to increase it in line with inflation, how much would that cost and how would Labour pay for that? Well, it's already in all of the forecasts. The problem is, is the government announced a mini budget a week and a half ago with tens of billions of pounds of unfunded tax cuts. What the government need to do now is to recall Parliament and reverse their budget. And then we wouldn't need to be having these conversations about spending cuts elsewhere. Um, just a quick word, if, if you will, on uh, immigration. Swella Braveman is going to uh, say that the, the UK should ban illegal immigrants from applying for asylum. She's going to use existing legislation under the Nationality and Borders Act. What's your reaction to that? The Conservatives have been in government for 12 years now and illegal immigration is on the uh, increase. So uh, this is a problem that's been made under their watch. They need to process claims faster, get people out of the country if they've got no right uh, to be here and get a grip of their failed uh, um, immigration system, which is not working for, 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 for British people. and It's not working for genuine asylum seekers either. Yeah. So you, you welcome then she, uh, her plans to introduce legislation to make it easier to deport people? Well, the problem is, is the government are not deporting people today, uh, even when their claims have failed. What the government need to do is get a grip of the system, process claims quick, quicker, ensure that people who have not got a right to be here are sent home. Uh, but that's not happening today, and that is 12 years of Tory failure.